Yes, in this video, we are going to see how to set a hexadecimal counter uh, in microprocessor 8085. So let us uh, see the problem statement. Here, the uh, problem is write a program to count continuously in hexadecimal from f up to 00. zero. So this is the problem. So what is that? It has to count from f up to 00, zero and from again 00, zero to f up. So when it is f up initially, f up then FP, FD, and so on, decrement up to 00. zero. So totally 256 times, including 0. So this is what the problem is. So it has to count. So when it counts, what happens? This output should remain there for few minutes, at least for few seconds. Uh, then only you can see the output. Or else it will be moving very fast. You will not be able to identify whether it is F or E or D or C, etc. So in order for the output to be stable for a few seconds, you have to introduce a time delay between the one output and another output. So that is where we are going to introduce a one millisecond. So in the problem, use register C to set up a one millisecond delay between each comp. That is from this and this, uh, appearing of this and this, we have to introduce a one millisecond uh, delay. So now, we, uh, the how many seconds the delay is given, but how much value you have to move it to the C register in order for that one millisecond delay to occur. That is what we have to find out in this problem. So here, initially, uh, B register, in B register, we use the counting, hexadecimal counting from 0, 0 to F up and F up to 0, 0. And within that, we are going to introduce one time delay between one output and another output. So for that we use the register call C. Now first, let us say first I'll explain this program. Move immediate the B register the value 00. zero. Then decrement B. So what happened when you decrement B, 00, zero again becomes F up. Okay, so all becomes F up. When 00, zero, zero, zero when you decrement 00, zero, it becomes, actually it becomes one F up. That is all ones. So now after this, it is becoming F up. So initially it is zero, zero. So after the execution of decrement B, it becomes F up. Then move the count. That we don't know. The count we have to calculate. So if you pass which hexadecimal value, that will result in one millisecond. That is the problem statement here. So just time being, we simply write count. So move MVIC, it may be 80, it may be 60, or whatever it is that we have to find out, which will result in one millisecond. So initially we just say it is a count and we move the count to C register. Then decrement C. Uh, this count we have to decrement in when, uh, till it reaches zero. So when it reaches zero, uh, till it reaches zero, this keeps on decrementing. So when it reaches zero, it, it now the next statement will be executed. What is the next statement? Move the value from B register. B is now zero, zero. That zero is moved to accumulator because we want to display the output to the output port. So in order to do that output, uh, display the output port, any data first move to be A. Because out instruction will get the data only from the accumulator. So we are moving B register to value in the B to A. So after movement, it will be zero. Now uh, zero will be displayed in the output port, which is connected. Then this statement will be executed, which is nothing but jump next. So jump next means here again. So if a zero, zero, means uh, now zero zero has become again f up okay uh, already sorry here it is zero zero here it becomes f up so that will be displayed then f up again decrement b means f up becomes f e the one gets decremented so f e now again uh, the count which is uh, uh, which is responsible for the one millisecond is moved and then again this loop will get executed till that in output port you can see this output so once it is after the one milliseconds, the value from B register is moved to accumulator, then again it is set. So FE will be displayed and again here it goes. Now here a decrement takes place and there will be a loop. So till that FE will be visible in the output port. The, the uh, programmer can view the output. So this is how this program executes. Now our main, uh, the main uh, problem statement is this count we have to find out. What will uh, lead 
to 1 milliseconds which count will lead to 1 millisecond that is a problem i hope you understand this uh, hexadecimal counter it is simple that you have to count from ff to 00, zero. here we have introduced a uh, time delay so that it, uh, the output can be visible for few seconds or else everything will run very fast and we can't see the output properly so now we'll see the time delay so delay calculation how to find out the count so tl tl is nothing but it is responsible for the uh, outside the loop so if you say that seven p states uh, actually this is inside the loop tl here for this decrement uh, C and J n is 11. For decrement C, it is 40 states and J n is at 10. So if you take that, it is 14 P states. So first we will calculate the loop delay, this within loop. So uh, inside loop. So 14 P states into T clock period into count. This is what we have seen. So clock period is nothing but for each clock period, it is 0 0.5. Because here it is given us 2 megahertz. Let us consider the uh, frequency to be Two megahertz that is already in the program in the problem statement is given as 0 0.5 years so that we substitute for clock period into uh, 10 power minus 6 as it is microsecond sorry uh, yes microsecond then count the count only what we have to find out so when you do the 7.5 multiply 7.0 into 10 minus 6 count still we haven't found out that count then we will see the other uh, t states for decrement outside the loop, there is nothing but decrement. This is the loop. So we will take here, we, from this loop stop. So we will take this because this is what going to repeatedly executed. So let us leave this. We take, consider this decrement wave. For this again it is 40 states and the MVIC count it is a 2 byte instruction. So for this 1, 4, 40 states and for this 3. So put together 70 states and then move A comma B which is given here after this loop. So move A comma B again it is a 40 states output. Output is a 10 P state because it is a uh, here out is a 8 bit and for 4 address it may be 16 bit address. So together it is a 3 byte instruction so 10 P state. Then jump is again a 3 byte instruction and it takes 10 P state. Put together when you add it is 35 T states. So delay outside the loop is uh, t 35 t states into t which is nothing but when you substitute for uh, t 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 6 10 power minus 6 indicate the microseconds so in unit so 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 6 which gives 17.5 meters now total time delay how you can calculate total time delay so far what we have seen is we have calculated this and this and this 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 and then separately this loop uh, delay so when you add all these things, you will get the total time delay. So total time delay is T0. This is nothing but here and TL. So when you add all these things, again, the count is carried over. We have to find this count. That is the problem here. So one milliseconds, because we have to set it as one millisecond. So one MS time, total time delay is one. That is what the problem we have given. So register C to set up a one millisecond. We have to set it to be a one millisecond. So time delay is one milliseconds, which is equal to this. And when you bring this count here, uh, now you have uh, one, one into this one milliseconds comes to the numerator minus 17.5, 10 per minute divided by this will give you when you when you calculate this you will get approximately equal to 140 in decimal now you have to convert it into hexadecimal which is nothing but hc so you have to move that uh, hc into uh, the register uh, here mvic here you have to move that to hc here so that uh, one millisecond delay can be achieved 